Hello everyone, welcome back to Vanguard News. I'm Daniel Press. And I'm Megan Kuchipudi. Today's show includes information regarding the latest Alpha products, Lebanon Trail Homecoming, behind the scenes of Peter and the Starcatcher, and highlights of sports this season. LTHS was filled with excitement all last week leading up to the homecoming game on Friday and the dance on Saturday. Dean St. Jude has more on how LT students celebrated this annual tradition. Last Saturday, Lebanon Trail hosted its 2022-23 homecoming. Festivities included Friday night's game against Frisco Heritage, followed by the dance on Saturday night with a masquerade theme. LT students were able to participate in Spirit Week with themed dress-up days and a pep rally on Friday to end the week. I think it's really fun to participate in doing like all the different themes. I decided to dress up for Spirit Week because I saw everybody else doing it and it looked like a lot of fun. While many students at Lebanon Trail participated by dressing up for Spirit Week, Others showed support and school spirit in different ways, including by showing up to cheer on the football team at their game against Heritage, and by attending the homecoming dance Saturday night. Going to the Hoko dance, I'm so excited because I've never been previous years. This time, I'm just super excited. This year's homecoming proved to be another opportunity for Lebanon Trail students to grow in unity and spirit. I'm Dean Sainju, reporting for Vanguard TV. LT's first play of the 2022 school year is Peter the Starcatcher, which will be performed on Thursday, October 27th, and Saturday the 29th. Tom V. Maddie went behind the scenes with the tech crew to see what all goes into creating a production. At LT, the tech theater program has been working for more than a month to create and design everything from costumes to sets to props for the upcoming production of Peter the Starcatcher. You have to kind of go through a bunch of different um, steps and procedures in order to find as much information as you can about the show itself. You reread the show a lot and you just kind of make sure that you know the show in and out. And then whenever you start designing costumes and set and lights and all that stuff, it becomes a much more easier process. Students working behind the scenes have also learned this year how to utilize light and sound technology effectively to improve their plays. Depending on the mood of the play or the mood of the scene, we do a lot of different things with colors or focus or brightness, those kinds of things, just to make sure it establishes the story more and puts emphasis where it needs to be. Tech theater members also do extensive pre-planning and preparation before the building begins. You first have to think about the world that you want to create and you have to think about the places that these people live and they interact with. And then you have to create that world with wood and paint and hammers and nails. Students, staff and community members can see the theater department's production of Peter and the Starcatcher on Thursday, October 27th at 7.30 and Saturday, October 29th at 7.30 in the LT Auditorium. Tickets cost $8 for students and $10 for adults. I'm Tom V. Maddie, reporting for Vanguard TV. Apple has consistently been a favorite brand to many LT students. The company has nearly 6 million users worldwide, making individuals excited for the updates and new products. Faith Oloris has more on Apple's recent release of its latest iPhone and software. Each year, Apple releases a new line of iPhones and software updates. Apple released the latest iPhone, the iPhone 14, on September 16th. This latest device includes multiple new features, one of the most distinguishable being the dynamic island. The phone was supposed to be more advanced than the previous iPhone that was released last year and to satisfy Apple users with better software and camera advancements. Consistent Apple users claim the iPhone 14 compared to the iPhone 13 has no variation. To be honest, the iPhone 14 is like the exact same thing as the 13, the 12, and the 11. There's really no difference other than it gets kind of uglier every time. I mean, I haven't really used the update yet, but the phone kind of looks the same. It's a scam. Apple hasn't changed it in like the past couple models. However, some users enjoy the changes and claim that Apple has greatly improved and advanced their lifestyles. I think it's cool. I like the notifications are at the bottom so you can actually see your wallpaper. I like the update personally. I think it's really cool and I like the way that you can customize your wallpaper to it. It's very fun for me. Because I, I feel like it's more like an accessibility thing since I already have a lot of Apple products. Due to the new Apple update, Android users that were hesitant towards Apple products before are now planning on using the Apple company over Android. My phone the phone is actually pretty laggy and I'm pretty jealous of the camera. As Apple continues to make consistent changes and advancements in its products, it has the ability to further impact the lifestyles of Lebanon Trail students in a number of ways. I'm Faith Aloris, reporting for Vanguard TV. 
LT athletes are continuing to blaze paths on the field, courts, and courses. Ethan Wu highlights LT accolades and achievements in this week's edition of Blazer Sports. Fall has officially begun and LT sports teams continue their success in competitions. After falling to Frisco High 35-7 the week prior, the LT football team lost 26-6 against Heritage Friday night in the Blazers' homecoming game. LT will take on Reedy High School this Thursday at Ford Stadium at 7 p.m. Moving on to the courts, volleyball lost against Liberty last Friday but came back strong with wins against Memorial and Centennial earlier last week, improving its record to 15-8. The Blazers are currently third in district play with a 4-2 and two record. Volleyball will take on Memorial in the LT Main Gyms at 5.30 Friday. Tennis defeated Liberty last Tuesday 11-8 and the Blazers are currently 4-1 in district games with one final game on the schedule this week as the team takes on Memorial at 4.30 p.m. this Tuesday. Cross Country ran at the Brazo at Little D Meet on September 23rd, with Naraj Kulkarni finishing 4th with a time of 15 minutes and 57 seconds for the Varsity Boys 5,000 meter run. Nala Karim broke LT's record for the Varsity Girls finishing 15th place with a time of 20 minutes and 47 seconds in the 5,000 meter run for Varsity Girls. On September 30th, at the Wiley Meet, Naraj Kulkarni notched 1st place with a time of 15 minutes and 59 seconds, while Nathaniel Guajardo crossed the line in 7th place for the Varsity Boys 5,000 meter run. I'm Ethan Wu, reporting for Vanguard News. Thanks for watching Vanguard TV, and remember to blaze it, Trailblazers.